Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. ji. Uh, in this more very short video, we will talk about storage complexity of KNN and computational complexity of KNN. Uh, we know the formulation of KNN. Uh, we have talked about the hyperparameters of KNN. And in the recent module, uh, we uh, derived the error rate or the convergence of one nearest neighbor. Okay, before we analyze uh, computation complexity and storage complexity, and let me quickly formulate again a KNN algorithm. Right. So for a KNN algorithm, uh, as an input, we give feature vector X. We give training data as an input. Uh, we also give K, the number of neighbors algorithm use uh, for algorithm uses for carrying out prediction and the distance function. An algorithm assigns label. It predicts a label y, uh, which is which which is assigned to the input x or test point x. The steps involved in assigning this label uh, include: uh, we first formulate a set. We first find a set S uh, by using this definition of uh, this set S, and this S depends on the test point x. And once we have this set that contains k nearest neighbors of x in the training data. So using this set S, we determine uh, the label uh, Y. Uh, and uh, the label is given by the most frequent label of the data points uh, in the set S, right? OK, if we uh, write the steps in the form of algorithm, uh, so we have three steps. Uh, first of all, obviously, we determine the distance between given test point and feature vector of every point in D. Right? So we compute these distances in the first step. And once we have these distances, uh, you can, based on the distances, distance you compute in the first step, you find k points in set D and those k points that are closest to the given test point to form a set S, right? So we populate set S by finding k points closest to the given test point uh, in set D, right? And once we have this set S, uh, we find the most frequent label in the set S and assign it to the test point, okay? So these are three steps. Uh, if you want to uh, use KNN uh, for predictions, uh, either classification or regression, right? If you're using regression, obviously the step three would change. In step three, you will be computing average or you will be computing weighted average using these K points. But nevertheless, uh, the computational complexity uh, will stay the same. Okay, so uh, if we take a step forward and uh, we determine the computation complexity of each of these steps, right? In the first step, uh, we want to compute distance, right? Between a test point and every feature vector in the set D, for every point in the set D, right? So in set D, we have n, n number of data points and each data point is d-dimensional, right? It has, uh, that belongs to d-dimensional space. So to compute this distance, to compute all of these distances, uh, how many operations, how many arithmetic operations do we need? Right? Okay, if I give you one test point and one feature vector, and you want to compute distance, right? Because feature test point is d-dimensional, the complexity would be of the order d. And you want to do the same operation for all test points for n number of points, the computation complexity of this step would be uh, of the order dn. I assume you are comfortable with this uh, notation. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Assume you are comfortable with uh, this notation O, right? Uh, if you're not comfortable with this notation, I will explain this in the in the tutorial session, the live session. Uh, this is uh, this is just denoting the asymptotic complexity. So, for example, if you have an algorithm that takes say 
n square uh, multiplications plus n multiplications and when n grows to infinity or when n, in, when n is very very large n term uh, would not have significant contribution in the overall compression time so you we, we say that the complexity is of the order n squared right so but i will and i will explain this uh, in the live session again okay so the complexities of the order dn okay, of the first step for the second step we want to find uh, hang on we want to find uh, kth smaller distance uh, using median of the median method right and once we have this kth smaller distance we find k data points in d with distance less than the kth smallest distance okay what do we want hum chahte hain ki hamare paas distance compute ho gaye aur hum us distance is us okay a naive way would be ki aap us distance array ko sort kar le aur uske jo pehle k elements hain ko pick kar le right but sorting as uh, is a complicated operation right is computationally expensive uh, most of the sorting algorithms they can uh, they take order n log n to n square uh, but we will see that uh, what we want here uh, we can do this in just order n operations right to to select k number of closest points in a distance array so we first find the k smaller distance using median of medians method right which is uh, i think uh, in algorithms uh, in libraries it is referred to as quick select if you use a quick select function that that returns you the k smallest distance in an array you know, or k smallest number in an array and this can be done in this can be done with complexity of the order n okay. and once you have this k smallest distance you can simply scan the whole array and you can find the other k minus 1 distances which are less than this k right and the comp what is the complexity you, you simply need to scan this whole array the array of distances and the complexity would be again of the order n so for the second step we can select we can find k points k nearest neighbors in the distance array and we can populate set s in order n operations right uh, for the third step we want to find the most frequent label in the set s right obviously uh, you just apne sirf check karna hai ki har uh hang on you simply want to find out uh, the label of every element in the set s and you can do this in order k operations or if you have regression karni hai and you want to take a sum of k nearest neighbors that again takes uh, order k okay uh, so these are these are three steps which you carry out sequentially so overall complexity would be dn plus n plus k and among these three terms the dominant term would be dn or we can say the computational complexity of knn algorithm is of the order dn okay i note here that this is a uh, computationally very very expensive uh, because if you have a very large data set and uh, say you have thousands of points and you have number of features could be is very large for example if you are dealing with images uh, even in mnist data a very low resolution image that has 784 pixels right and uh, if you have a, a mega uh, image of megapixels so that would have millions of features and you want to carry out millions of operations versus thousands of images the computation complexity would be very huge Right. so knn uh, is not computationally efficient algorithm uh, it takes a lot of resources it takes a lot of computation resources to make predictions uh, nevertheless we use it 
in the next module i will talk about one variant of knn uh, what we call fast knn and that has a relatively less compressed complexity than uh, traditional knn uh, with complexity over dn okay uh, next we talk about storage complexity of knn uh, what do you think about storage complexity for every prediction for every test point the algorithm needs all of the training data to make predictions that means you need to store all of the training data to carry out predictions okay in contrast if you are using some other algorithm for example a regression algorithm uh, or linear regression in which you want to fit a polynomial to data you only need to store the weights of polynomial like right? say of the order 10 10 weights and that's it but in knn to carry out predictions you need to store all the data right so the storage complexity of knn is also very huge uh, because you need uh, <coughs> you need to have uh, the complete set d in your memory or in your storage so the storage complexity is of the order uh, d times n right uh, i would also like to comment on uh, the private the privacy issues or ethical issues associated with knn right? so you mo most of the times when you develop an algorithm and you want to give algorithm to someone so that they can use it for predictions you do not you do not share the data on which you have trained your model but for knn you need to give this data so that they can make predictions right so uh, there's an there's a privacy there's a privacy issue there's an ethical issue uh, with knn as well because uh, you will have to share data uh, to someone so that they can use the model right so so that was all uh, in this module we have analyzed computational complexity of knn and storage complexity of knn Uh, we stop here, and we will continue in the next module. Uh, we will have two more modules in KNN. In the first module, we will talk about uh, one variant of KNN uh, with relatively better computation complexity, and finally, we will talk about the concept, the curse of dimensionality, uh, uh, which is uh, a very very interesting concept, and we will see uh, the consequences. of the curse of dimensionality on kn theek hai ji apna khayal rakhe see you inshallah allah hafiz